Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. If you have a plywood strap and you want it to be fabric topped, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. So today's video, as you probably have already guessed, is going to be about taking Don's uh, plywood strap body and doing the first couple steps to um, getting it covered with the fabric top. Now Mrs. Texas Toast has already picked out the fabric and uh, so we Actually, as I am talking to you right now, I'm, I'm resting my hand on the guitar. But what I want to show you first is some of the prep work that we did to get it ready to glue the fabric down. So in this first little segment, I'm running the guitar through the thickness sander to get the top layer of paint and crud off of the guitar and also to make it flat. Let's check that out. Okay, now the guitar is all nice and level and uh, we've got something, you know, raw wood to glue down to. So in this next little bit, it's going to be me uh, wiping glue onto the body with a paintbrush and, uh, and gluing the fabric down. That is some grandma fabric right there. It's a lot of glue. You're about to see some serious shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's like I said, it's better. Ask me how I know. Yeah, ask me how I know. Not eating pintos and cheese with a chip brush? What's the matter with you? Uh, we're gonna expose it all here in just a second. Yeah, the weenie roller works better, but we don't have a weenie. Yeah, the, the chip brush, they like to shed it's chips. Yeah. They also do that when you eat pintos and cheese with it. <laughs> ask me how it's I just, know. It's just extra fiber. Yeah. Alright, as you probably know if you've watched any of my videos, the next step that we want to do after we get everything glued down is we want to spray the first course of sealer and uh, Chris and Ian were out in the paint booth and I'm going to roll in a picture of what those two clowns look like. <laughs> those guys did a hell of a lot of work on, uh, on this so far and um, it's, uh, it's actually starting to look pretty good. So let's check out what it looks like. So this is what she looks like right out of the booth. Now, obviously there's quite a bit that still needs to be trimmed and I'm gonna do that next. Um, in fact, I've already done the back, so with a little bit of TV magic, this is what it's gonna look like. Um, so what I did first, and I'm gonna show you all this, I, I trimmed out, I trimmed as much of this excess off as I could and then I ran it over my, uh, uh, a roundover bit on the router to uh, establish this hard line here as you can see now what you're probably thinking is well what about the cutaway area and what about the place where it's not that 3 8 roundover um, we just went ahead and trimmed that as tight as we could to the body what's gonna happen is we're gonna spray more sealer on this and lock everything down and then we're going to run paint on that hard line so um, well you know what? We're going to have lots of videos on this guy, so uh, let's just, uh, let me work on this for a little bit and you can follow along at home and um, let's start doing it. Okay, so the key here is to, once everything's sealed up, is to get a halfway sharp razor blade and come in and get rid of as much of this stuff as we can because for as sealed down as it is, ah, for as sealed down as it is right here, this flop around stuff, if the router grabs hold of this, it could be bad. Um, because, you know, I mean, this, this is just like fabric still. Um, this is a little bit more like, you can actually hear it. You can cut it. Um, this is a little bit more like what fiberglass is like, but these, this, this stuff that needs to be trimmed, we want to get rid of that. So that's easy enough. Um, again, we're gonna, we're gonna come around, hold on, let me see if I can get this in the damn camera here. We wanna come around as tight as we can, but remember we're going to, we're gonna buzz this through the, uh, the round over bit. So I mean, we're not looking for, um, we're not looking for perfection just yet. Just want to get the majority of this funky stuff off of here. 
okay? Um, now, you could chase this uh, neck pocket a little bit. Uh, you know, you, you, it's one of those things you really want to be careful with. You want to make sure you're straight up and down, and you might want to get into these corners with, um, you know, like an X-Acto knife or something because they're, they're little and they're, they're tight. So if you're using a utility blade like I am here, um, that might not be the best thing. Although it, it does work, you just kind of gotta, you know, take your time. Um, it's always easier to find a new utility knife blade in my shop than it is to find a new X-Acto knife blade. So, let me get that guy cut in and give you a little bit of a look at what it's going to look like. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the, um, the, the router table and we're going to buzz around this uh, 3 8 round over and uh, it should help establish that hard edge that we want. So let's check that out now. Got my 3 8 round over bit in the table. And I'm going to send the body through here. Now, I want to make sure that when I get to the arm cutaway, you know, I'm watching. So, we're going to go ahead and start where the bearing is riding on the, um, the actual body. Like that. Let's do it. So as you can see, we now have a nice crisp line that we can mask to, and what will happen is, we'll actually go ahead and mask up to that edge, and we'll have a nice, uh, that'll be where our paint will start and our fabric will stop. Normally on Texas Toast Guitars that we do fabric top, we bind this, but because this has already got a round over, we can't very well bind it. So what we're gonna do instead of bursting um, is just have a nice hard paint line that comes up to there. Now there's gonna be more sealing before we do that, but um, you can see, you can start a, sort of start to see it take shape here a little bit. One thing we want to do is I want to clean up this last little area here. Um, the roundover bit probably should have taken this off, but it didn't, and that's okay. Because we're right by the, um, the forearm contour. Remember, this is a left-handed guitar. So we're just going to take that down, and I'm kind of holding my my razor blade at an angle here and uh, it's not going to match perfectly with the uh, with the line that we put on with the round over but that's okay we're just going to have to you know mask this when we uh, when we paint and we're just going to have to help uh, we're just going to have to follow this line the best we can and it's going to be easy and it's going to be in fact it's going to be so easy even I can do it so this is the phase, well, whatever phase this is. We've got the, we've got the fabric glued down to the top. I haven't cut out the uh, pickup cavity yet, but I will. And we've got the fabric glued on the back. And um, we have established a border where the fabric stops and where the new paint will start. Haven't decided what, man, I'm all covered with schmutz. Haven't decided what color the, uh, the edge treatment is going to get yet. Um, but it's going to be one of the colors that's, that's in here and it's going to look really super cool. So, um, you know, we're kind of doing this as we go, uh, but if you have any questions, we might be able to help you with them. Uh, if you have any questions about what we're going to do next, you might just want to wait till the next video. But if you have any questions about what we've done so far, any of the products that we've used, um, just go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. If you like the video, give us the thumbs up. And uh, if you like content like this, you might want to consider checking us out on Patreon and becoming a member over there. Uh, even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us out. Uh, and remember, every buck you spend goes toward your next purchase here in the shop. So, uh, oh, and above and beyond that, if you do or don't become a Patreon member, one of the things that you can do that really help us out is to share this video as many places as you possibly can. Um, because we do not accept any ad revenue from YouTube, and we're not on anyone's, uh, you know, ad bot algorithm thing. So, 
Anyway, that's my heater shutting off. So uh, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. I